Ahoy! Oi, Frog by Kez Gray and Jim Field Oi, Frog, sit on a log, said the cat. But I don't want to sit on a log, said the frog. Logs are all knobbly and uncomfortable, and they can give you splinters on your bottom. I don't care, said the cat. You're a frog, so you must sit on a log. Can't I sit on a mat? asked the frog. Only cats sit on mats, said the cat. What about a chair? said the frog. I wouldn't mind sitting on a chair. Hares sit on chairs, said the cat. Perhaps I could sit on a stool, said the frog. Mules sit on stools, said the cat. What about a sofa, said the frog. I could stretch right out on a sofa. Gophers sit on sofas, said the cat. It's very simple, really. Cats sit on mats, hares sit on chairs, mules sit on stools, gophers sit on sofas, and frogs sit on logs. What do lions sit on? asked the frog. Lions sit on irons, said the cat. Ouch, said the frog. What do parrots sit on? Parrots sit on carrots, said the cat. Lions sit on irons and parrots sit on carrots. Doesn't sound very comfortable, said the frog. It's not about being comfortable, said the cat. It's all about doing the right thing. What do foxes sit on? asked the frog. Foxes sit on boxes, said the cat. Foxes sit on boxes and fleas sit on peas. What do goats sit on? asked the frog. Goats sit on coats, said the cat. Goats sit on coats, cows sit on ploughs, and storks sit on forks. What do gorillas sit on? asked the frog. Gorillas sit on pillars, said the cat. Gorillas sit on pillars, rats sit on hats, weasels sit on easels, and moles sit on poles. What do seals sit on? asked the frog. Don't you know anything? said the cat. Seals sit on wheels, doves sit on gloves, newts sit on flutes, lizards sit on wizards, and apes sit on grapes. What about puffins? asked the frog. Puffins sit on muffins, said the cat. Puffins sit on muffins, snakes sit on cakes, owls sit on towels, gibbons sit on ribbons, lambs sit on jams, bees sit on keys, and pumas sit on satsumas. Well, I never knew that, said the frog. Well, you do now, said the cat. What do dogs sit on? asked the frog. I was hoping you weren't going to ask that, said the cat. Help! Oi, dog. Written by Kez and Claire Gray. Illustrated by Jim Field. Oi, dog, get off the frog, said the frog. But I like sitting on frogs, said the dog. Frogs are all squishy and squashy, and when you sit on them, they go plurp. You know the rules, said the cat. Cats sit on mats, frogs sit on locks, and dogs sit on frogs. Well, I'm changing the rules, said the frog. From now on, dogs sit on logs, not frogs. Really? said the dog. Really? said the frog. Dogs sit on logs, and cats sit on gnats. Ouch. What will bears sit on? asked the dog. Bears will sit on stairs, said the frog. What will slugs sit on? asked the dog. 
Slugs will sit on plugs, said the frog. Slugs will sit on plugs, flies will sit on pies, crickets will sit on tickets, and moths will sit on cloths. What will leopards sit on? asked the dog. Leopards will sit on shepherds, said the frog. Leopards will sit on shepherds, and cheetahs will sit on fajitas. You're really getting the hang of this, said the dog. Ah, no, said the frog, and that's not all. Noos will sit on canoes, pigs will sit on wigs, and boars will sit on oars. What will whales sit on? asked the dog. Whales will sit on nails, said the frog. I'm not sure whales are going to like that, said the dog. They don't have to like it, said the frog. They just have to do it. What will dragons sit on? said the dog. Dragons will sit on wagons, said the frog. Dragons will sit on wagons, mice will sit on ice, kittens will sit on mittens, and puppies will sit on guppies. What will crabs sit on? asked the dog. Crabs will sit on kebabs, said the frog. Crabs will sit on kebabs, poodles will sit on noodles, hornets will sit on cornets, skunks will sit on trunks, and elephants will sit on smelly pants. Elephants aren't going to sit on smelly pants, gasped the dog. They are now, smiled the frog. How done, said the cat. If dogs sit on logs, cats sit on gnats, bears sit on stairs, slugs sit on plugs, flies sit on pies, crickets sit on tickets, moths sit on cloths, leopards sit on shepherds, cheetahs sit on fajitas, noos sit on canoes, pigs sit on wigs, boars sit on oars, whales sit on nails, dragons sit on wagons, mice sit on ice, kittens sit on mittens, puppies sit on guppies, crabs sit on kebabs, poodles sit on noodles, hornets sit on cornets, skunks sit on trunks, and elephants sit on smelly pants. What are frogs going to sit on? asked the dog. Sun loungers, said the frog. Oi, cats! Written by Kez Gray. Illustrated by Jim Field. Oi, cat! Step away from the gnat, said the frog. But I hate gnats said the cat. Gnats are all nasty and nibbly, and they keep biting me on the bottom. Why do you keep on sitting on them, then? asked the dog. Why don't you sit on a mat instead? Because the frogs changed the rules, sighed the cat. Remember? That's right, smiled the frog. I've changed the rules. Dogs used to sit on frogs, but now they sit on logs. And cats used to sit on mats, but now they sit on gnats. It's a shame you're not a pony, said the dog. If you were a pony, you could sit on some macaroni. Just my luck, sighed the cat. Macaroni won't nibble your bottom, said the dog. Will you stop talking about my bottom, said the cat. My bottom is none of your business. If you were a chick, you could sit on a brick, smiled the frog. If you were a vole, you could sit on a bowl. If you were a leech, you could sit on a peach. If you were a duck, you could sit on a truck. Well, I'm not a chick, am I? frowned the cat. Or a vole, or a leech, or a duck. You're a cat, said the dog. Or a gnat, smiled the frog. And rules are rules. If you were an alpaca, you could sit on a cream cracker, said the dog. If you were a mink, you could sit on a sink. If you were an armadillo, you could sit on a pillow, a lovely soft comfy pillow. If you were a lark, you could sit on a shark, said the frog. Unbelievable, said the cat. If you were a shrimp, you could sit on a chimp, said the dog. If you were a bunny, you could sit on some honey. If you were a pheasant, you could sit on a present. If you were a troll, you could sit on a doll. Whatever he sits on, it has to rhyme with cat, said the frog. Perhaps you could sit on a bat, said the dog. 
Instead of a mat or a gnat, you could sit on a cricket bat or a baseball bat or a softball bat. Bats sit on bats, said the frog. What if you were a kitty instead of a cat, said the dog. If you were a kitty, you could sit on something pretty, like a pretty flamingo or some sparkly bows or some lovely colourful streamers. Dingoes sit on flamingos, crows sit on bows, and lemurs sit on streamers, said the frog. How about a mock? said the dog. If you were a mock, you could sit on a clock or a cog. Hogs sit on clogs, said the frog. And cogs where there's a shortage of clogs. Wait a moment, smiled the cat. If I was a mock, I could sit on a... Step away from the frog, frowned the frog. Yes, no one could sit on a frog, nodded the dog. It has to be something that rhymes with frog, or mock, or clog, or cog. Hmm, said the cat. What else rhymes with mock, frog, clog and cog? Let me think. Gog, jog, bog, pog, rog, sock, tog, og, fog, tog. Oh, dog! said the dog. Dog rhymes with frog, mog, clog, and cog. So it does, smiled the cat. So it does, clapped the frog. I wish I hadn't said that said the dog. <laughs> Oi, puppies! By Kez Gray and Jim Field Oi, oi, oi! What's that infernal noise? asked the cat. Yeah! Where's all that barking and yapping coming from? said the frog. I'm looking after some puppies, said the dog. How many puppies? frowned the frog. Quite a lot of puppies, gulped the dog. This one's called Tiddle, this one's called Buster, that one's called Rover, this one's called Jock, and this one's called Milo. Sit, Milo, said the cat. He won't sit, said the dog. Sit, Tiddle, said the frog. She won't sit either, said the dog. Why won't they sit, asked the cat. Because they're puppies, said the dog. Puppies are far too busy being puppies to sit. Hold on, said the cat. I thought puppies sat on guppies. That's right said the frog. Not these puppies, said the dog. These puppies are really badly trained. There's a puppy hanging from my whiskers, frowned the cat. He's called Spot, said the dog. There's a puppy chewing on my swimming trunks, said the frog. She's called Lolly, said the dog. What are these puppies called, asked the frog. Tickle, Blue, Scamp, Rebel, Smudge and Shep, said the dog. And what are these puppies called? frowned the cat. Winnie, Cheeky, Spike, Flash, Trouble and Trixie, said the dog. Well, do something about them, yelled the cat. Let me make a phone call, said the frog. Where do you want everything? said the delivery duck. On the next page, please, said the frog. Look, gasped the dog. Buster is sitting on a duster, and Jock is sitting on a clock. That's right, smiled the frog. Buster's on a duster, Jock's on a clock, and Tiddle is on a fiddle. That's not all, smiled the cat. Milo's on a lilo, Rover's on some clover, Tickles on some pickles, and Smudge is on some fudge. I wonder what Spot is sitting on, said the dog. Spot is on a yacht, said the frog. Spot's on a yacht, Rebel's on a pebble, Shep's on a step, Scamp's on a lamp, 
Cheeky is on some tzatziki, and Blue is on a shoe. I wonder what Lolly is sitting on, said the cat. Lolly's on a trolley, said the frog. Lolly's on a trolley, Trixie's on a pixie, Flash is on a splash, Spike's on a trike, Widdy's on a pinny, and Trouble is on a bubble. That's amazing, said the dog. I've never seen so many puppies so well behaved. Hold on, what do tadpoles sit on? said the dog. And kittens that are allergic to mittens, said the cat. Why do you ask? frowned the frog. I'm Sugarly. I'm Sugarly. I'm Cutiekins. Oi, taxi! yelled the frog. My name is Lemon. Oi, duck billed platypus. Huh. By Kez Gray and Jim Field. Oi, duck billed platypus. Sit on a. Um. Uh, what rhymes with duck bill platypus? whispered the frog. Absolutely nothing, smiled the cat. What about cluck filled hatty bus, or yuck spilled splatty mouse, or truck frilled flappy goose? said the dog. Don't be ridiculous, said the frog. Yes, don't be ridiculous, said the cat. Well, I was only trying to help, said the dog. I'm waiting, said the duck-billed platypus. We're all waiting too, said a crowd of animals with impossible to rhyme with names. None of us know what we are meant to sit on either. I know, said the frog. What's your first name? Dolly, said the duck-billed platypus. Dolly, sit on brollies smiled the frog. My name is Kate, said the cockaburra. Kate sit on gates, said the frog. My first name is Herbert, said the hippopotamus. My first name is Hannah, said the hedgehog. My first name is Stella, said the starfish. My first name is the lemony, said the lobster. My first name is Jean, said the jaguar. Herbert sit on sherbets, Hannah sit on spanners, Stella sit on propellers, Lemony sit on anemones, and Jean sit on baked beans, said the frog. He's good at this, isn't he? said the dog. Too good, sighed the cat. What do Ivana sit on? asked the ibex. Ivana sit on bananas, said the frog. Ivana sit on bananas, Terry sit on cherries, Claire sit on pears, and Ellen sit on melons. What about Bobs? said the budgerigar. Bobs sit on corner the cobs, said the frog. Bob sit on corner the cobs, Clive sit on hives, Ozzy sit on cozies, Sophie sit on trophies, Renata sit on tripolatas, and Zane sit on trains. How about Neves? said the numbat. Neves sit on leaves, said the frog. Neves sit on leaves, Alice's sit on palaces, Freddy sit on teddies, Pippa's sit on slippers, Paul sit on walls, Taylor's sit on sailors, and Bailey's sit on ukuleles. That only leaves me, said the kangaroo. First name, said the frog. Geraldine, said the kangaroo. Second name, Jemima said the kangaroo. Any other names? asked the frog. Amelia Esmeralda Honeydew Hickenbottom Pinkleponk Johnson, said the kangaroo. <laughs> Sit where you like, said the frog. Oi, goat, by Kez Gray and Jim Field. Oi, goat! Put on a coat, said the frog. But why do you want me to put on a coat? asked the goat. I've already got a coat, 
a long shaggy one. It's World Book Day, said the frog. Everyone dresses up on World Book Day. Cats put on hats, said the cat. Dogs put on cloaks, said the dog. And goats put on coats, said the frog. What do flies put on? asked the goat. Flies put on ties, said the frog. Flies put on ties, bees put on skis, ants put on pants, and ptarmigans put on cardigans. What do llamas put on? asked the goat. A suit of armour, said the frog. Wow, that's a whole costume, said the goat. Ah, oh, no, said the frog. On World Book Day, some animals really go for it. Gators dress as waiters, said the cat. Canaries dress as fairies, said the dog. Some animals even dress as characters from children's books, said the frog. Buffaloes dress as gruffaloes, said the dog. Otters dress as Harry Potters, said the cat. Collies dress as where's wallies, said the frog. It certainly sounds like a lot of fun, said the goat. World Book Day is a lot of fun, said the frog, especially if you're good at dressing up. Who have you dressed up as? asked the goat. I'm the prince who got turned into a frog, said the frog. Genius, said the goat. If you enjoy this video, please remember to like